Hey everybody, how's everybody doing? Today is a protein sparing modified fast day. Yes it is and I have been researching and I got my blood work up done. Yes I did. And I got some work to do on my lipid panel. So come on you guys, let's get this day started. Good morning everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. Hey, quick reminder, tomorrow is uh, the, oh, it's July. Sorry, Arlene, Eileen, the 8th. So tomorrow night, we will be pulling the winner for our Keto Chow giveaway. So look for that on the 9th because that will go up about 12, 15, give or take. Anyway, you guys, today's a protein sparing modified fast day. I thought I pulled out chicken, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I didn't, I pulled out boneless, skinless chicken thighs and it's defrosted. So we are having boneless, skinless chicken thighs in the broiler and then we have a uh, 90-10 ground bison for today to eat and we're keeping our um, calories very low five to seven hundred calories here we can go up into the sevens I try to stay right around the six area so that's what we're doing today now got my blood work up done and what I'm really upset about is the only thing they didn't do was measure my LDL particles and there was an order for that she kept the orders she took forever to put stuff into the system so I think she was new or a temp or uh, anyway I had to call the cardiologist who ordered that to get that test sent to me via email so I'm gonna have to go get yet another blood draw because I really want to know especially since I'm gonna get balled out big time from the cardiologist now my cholesterol was high it was 324 my tiger and it's supposed to be 199 or under we all know about that cholesterol uh, triglycerides though were 138 and they need to be below 149 I'd like to get them below 100 my cholesterol to HDL ratio was high it was 5.3 and I need to get it below 4.4 now my HDL cholesterol has gone up a little bit it was 61 and it needs to be above 60 I'd like to get it in the 80s my non HDL cholesterol was 263 which is very high it's supposed to be under 129 and my LDL cholesterol calculated was 236 an H with a big asterisk like warning warning um, my, it's supposed to be under 99. My hemoglobin A1C, my A1C score though was 5.3. So that is really good because non-diabetic patients are 5.6 and below. I still would like to get that lower. So I've got some things to do. Um, I'm gonna be rearranging my macros so that I'm having less fat again, higher protein, keeping my carbs at 20 total carbs, or below but I'm keeping my fats right around 75 grams and then I'm going to eat more turkey chicken um, bison and lean beef we've tried the high fat with the beef now we're going backwards again and you guys have to work with your body and what it needs and you need to work within what your blood says all kinds of things we are going to have an arm, verbal arm wrestling because that doctor is going to want to put me on statins oh, yeah. ASAP and that's not what we're doing. I'm going to ask him to give me three months to see if I can lower the triglycerides and once I get the LDL particles, that will show the severity of it. If they're big, fat, fluffy ones, I don't have much to worry about. If they are narrow and dense, especially based on potential enlargement of my heart and the mitral valve and all the stuff the you know my lungs and all the other tasks I need to be doing something so until I get more pieces of the puzzle filled in the first thing I can do that I have control of is rearrange my diet rearrange my macros see if that helps um, <clears throat> like I said one of the 
things that can happen with the uh, LAE and the ST information about my heart, my left atrium, I can gain weight. Same with the lungs. You can gain unexpected weight, which is, I'm sure, water retention. So I want to work on that still. Um, the good news is I was able to print out my thyroid ultrasound test. And you guys, the last time I got it tested, which was last year, April of 2023, my large nodule had shrank down to 10 millimeters. No, from 12. It was, no, let me think. Okay, originally it was 20 millimeters when I first got diagnosed with it back in um, Washington State. Last year, it was 12 millimeters, and it had shrank substantially from the year previous, because I've been doing this previous, but I don't have that in this system because it was a different blood workup in Washington State, and I, I can't even remember which one it was. But this year, this month, from April of last year, it has shrunk down to 10 millimeters. I thought it was six, right? No, it's, it's, it's 10. Let me go get the paperwork. Hold, please. Oh yeah, you're right, Harry. So last year it went from a 12 to a 10 millimeters, and this year it went from 10 to six millimeters. Right. So you guys, in a few years, I have been able to reduce it so much, which is really, really nice. Because it says six millimeter hypoechotic nodule at the mid isthmus previously 10 millimeters. There's a few scattered uh, sub-centimeter benign uh, spodgiform nodules, which are just little dinky ones, but I don't have that second one anymore. So I am really, and the lobe measurements have shrank as well. They have shrank by a centimeter. They were five in the fives, and now they're down in the fours as far as um, the width, which means the inflammation's going away. It's normalizing. So I, thank goodness for a, a good uh, test result on something. Trust me. But I was able to print out all kinds of stuff off of my portal. And I have been sitting there today measuring my DEXA bone density from the past three years backwards. And my bone density has gotten better than it was. Um, my wrist is now normal while it was, where it was osteopenia. Um, my neck still is osteopenia. Um, my spine in areas is normal and has some osteopenia. So I feel really good that it's gotten better from the past year, which is awesome as far as I'm concerned. However, I know the lipid panel and my cardiologist is going to have a heart attack over that. So I need to work on that. I'm going to sneeze. Sorry, last night we had a monsoon and we had heavy burst of rain, high winds. It was high winds and dusty when we went out with Sally and this morning my sinuses have gone crazy. But the good news is we actually had some good rain, didn't we, Harry? Yep. And it's super windy right now. I mean, it rained coming. like buckets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but Dude. here... You wait two hours after a rain stops and you can't even tell we had a rain at all. Yeah. Because everything dries up. And we're talking about, we're talking night. Yeah. It's, it dries up at night because of the heat here. Yeah, our yard floods. Our yeah. yard has hard pan underneath the little pebbles that we've got out there and it flooded. But then, like he says, in 30 minutes it's gone. Yeah, you, you within so. an hour or two after it rains, even because at night it's 102 degrees here. Oh, at least. So it just dries up. Yeah. It's gone. <laughs> you guys I'm super excited um, that most of my tests are done I still have my CT for my knee I still have my echo and then the harness that I need to wear and other than going to the doctor and figuring out my lungs and all that stuff at least hopefully I'm over that hump and I just need to take one thing at a time diagnosis wise because otherwise I'll go insane so can't have that happen but I feel good today um, which is a good thing I took a shower my hair is um, fresh out of the shower and all they did was blow dry it so don't look at it it gets real poofy my hair is naturally wavy and when I blow dry it it wants to stand out 
So, sorry about that. Anyway, I'm gonna cook the boneless, skinless chicken breast. And that's what we're gonna have to eat today. And you guys know, I'm just throwing it in my air fryer plain, and I'm just adding my Redmond organic seasoned salt to that. And you guys can get a discount down on the description below for all the Redmond products, which I find are fantastic. I'm getting to the point where that's all I use because I don't need to use the other seasonings. These just taste so good to me. So. Anyway, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna cook them at 400 degrees in a cold air fryer for about 20, 25 minutes. I'm gonna weigh them because I wanna populate my macros. And then once I eat the ones I eat, I'm gonna re-weigh the bones just to deduct that from the actual meat cooked weight. I always do that with bones. Bones don't weigh as much as you think they do. So don't automatically go, oh, well that's gonna weigh an ounce. Because two of the chicken thigh bones probably weigh right under an ounce, if not way less than an ounce, depending on the chicken. Came out to six tenths. Yeah, six tenths the last time we weighed, we checked. So anyway, you guys, that's what we're doing today. How are you guys doing? We're gonna do two days a week on Protein Spare and Mitify Fast this week. We did go last night, we did go to barbecues. I did order chicken wings. Yes, I did. And Harry had the sausage, no sauce or anything on them. Right. And um, I got a beef, um, beef rib, which is huge. It's one. So I had that and we shared the chicken wings. And you know what makes me mad? Every time I order chicken wings, because I like the flats. Barbecue gives you 12 chicken wings. I had four flats and there were eight drummies. And I told her specifically, can you let the cook know to at least get us half and half because I like the flats. So I only had four flats, which was fine because I had that big hunk of uh, beef. It was delicious. But now we're not gonna be adding butter or mayonnaise, um, except on occasionally to, like if I wanna have a can of tuna, I'll put a little mayonnaise and stuff. So now we're going back to the mustard. Um, I'm not gonna be eating as much of the 80-20 beef I'm gonna to try to eat more bison and more 90-10, although 80-20 is the lowest in fat, I, because I want to purposefully eat leaner meats so that I can see if I can get my triglycerides down, because I know what's coming. You guys can just hear it, can't you? Can't you hear the doctor just looking at that and having a heart attack? I, oh, can, yeah. I, I, can, I know him. I can feel him vibrating right now yeah. because he's gonna go, oh my gosh, look at this. And we're gonna write a person, and I'm gonna have to say, I'm sorry, no, we aren't. So anyway, that's gonna be a fun, I wish I could have a hidden camera. I wish Harry had like a hidden lapel. Oh, I got one. So the, Oh, you do? Yeah, Is it looks it like a pin. Can you, can you, can you it looks film? just like a pin you put in your top pocket. Can you pocket. film it? Yeah, I'll try. That would be good, huh? We'll see if we can. Yeah, but see the... I don't know what the laws are, though. Well, I'd have to smudge his face out, but that's okay. Yeah. Ooh, maybe. Maybe we can be candid camera in the cardiologist, and you guys can hear me get balled out. Ooh, yeah. We'll have to try that. Yes, we will. I have to get the echo though, and I have to get the harness, so I'm not gonna see him for probably three to four more weeks on that, so. <sighs> anyway, you guys, it's time for us to eat. It's 12.54, we woke up, we had a coffee with a scoop of the Haracha Marigold Collagen, which we are loving, yes we are, and the coffee we're having right now is the Jack's Mix of Momento Coffee, and I'm telling you, if you haven't it's had really Momento good. Coffee, you're missing something. How many of you have ordered Memento? How many of you are believers in the coffee now? Tell everybody, let them know it is not bitter. You can have the strong Honduras coffee and not it's not bitter to the very last drop. Uh, they use the Swiss decaf process on their decaf and every single one of their flavors is unique, distinct, and absolutely amazing. Yes, it is. Thank you, Mina. I just have to say that, you guys, because I'm telling you, their coffee is the best I have ever had yet, and I'm 70, so just saying. Anyway, you guys, I've got to get to cooking now, and Harry needs to clean the air fryer out, I think, so yeah, I do. we'll see you guys in the next segment. Hope everybody's having a great day. Oh, okay, Harry, you did a beautiful job. I've got a gorgeous air fryer. Look how clean you made it. Beautiful job. Oh yeah. Look at that. Ooh, sparkling. 
Sparkling clean. Nice. Nice job. So there's no fat in it. I don't have to spray my air fryer. This air fryer was a gift from one of our longtime viewers. Thank you so much again because we love it. And it's a big air fryer. And um, I, you don't have to spray. You don't have to put any fat in. The, it cleans up really nicely, doesn't it, Harry? Yep, yep. not easy so. to clean, actually. That's why I like these, these ones. I'm gonna put the bison over here for a minute because I like to use this paper towels that's clean to kind of, oh my gosh. We I gotta clean, oh no. It's too dangerous, it's raw chicken, Harry. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna turn that off. Wendy making messes in the kitchen, emergency. Oh, oh man, this is gonna be a mess. Yep. Well, I need, I I'll need get a, it. Look what I just got delivered. Okay, Harry, thank you for cleaning up my chicken juice spill mess. Yep. Let me see who these can, Sterling Silver is my favorite, Rose. So, let me see this. Oh, Shelly and Karen, you guys are so sweet. Wendy, we're thinking about you and praying for healing. Call me anytime to talk or vent. I'm always here for you. Glad Sally is on the mend. Love you guys, Shelly and Karen. Oh, I've known nice, Shelly huh? and Karen since 1998. I can tell you, May 13th, 1998, I got hired at Northwest Nat, which is a company, an internet company in Washington State. And I met Shelly and her sister, Karen. And Shelly's actual son, who was, this, who was eight years old then, he's now a full-grown man, he's a pilot, he's doing fabulous. And Shelly and I are, became fast buddies, and we still are. And she had to move, she, she moved here with her husband at the time, and we got to do things and enjoy each other. And since then, oh, it's been almost two years now, Shelly. She and her husband got divorced. She moved back to Washington State to be with her sister and her family. Her brother's there and her son's there and everybody's there. Aunts, uncles, all the good things. Cousins. So I miss Shelly a lot. And Karen, when I say Karen, she's the one I'm talking about. That girl can cook. I'll tell you, if I had any questions about cooking, it would be her. She is a fabulous cook. And she used to experiment on us with some of the things she would cook for different things. I remember that, Karen, a lot. Especially with the Greek food that you made. You made the wrapped um, um, and grape leaves thing. I forgot what you call those things. But anyway, so uh, thank you so much, ladies. I truly, truly appreciate it. And sterling silver, Shelly, you must have remembered. Those are my favorite colors. So these are absolutely beautiful. Thank you for the bottom of my heart. You guys made my day. Let me tell you. Aren't they pretty? Yeah, they're beautiful. And the status. That looks like Russian status. Very pretty. Very, 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 very pretty. I'm gonna put this on my dining room table. There, I opened up the shutter a little bit so I could see them. Yep, they're very pretty. That's the color, that's the color. Yeah, it's really nice, huh? Mm-hmm. Smells great, too. Yeah, it does. You can smell the roses. Sometimes you can't, but those are absolutely beautiful. I got to go see Sal, uh, Shelly and um, Karen in Washington when we went to Idaho, and then Lori and I went to see my mom and dad's grave at the Tahoma National Cemetery. We got to go meet up with Karen and Shelly and uh, just get caught up. So that was super nice. And anytime I get near Washington State, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So thank you, ladies. You guys made my day. That was a very pleasant surprise. So thank you so much. Don't have my rose gardens anymore, Shelly, but I appreciate those flowers. You and I both had beautiful roses. So ah, anyway, you guys, let's try this one more time. This time I'm leaving it on here and trying not to, it leaked 
all the juices because they do inject chicken, unfortunately, with a water to solution plump to plump them up. So come on over here, Harry. I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna salt them once I get them in. And I know it's gonna be a little bit more fat uh, on the meat today because it's a protein spray and modified fat, but I need to eat this because I took it out night before last and let it um, defrost in the refrigerator. So they do need to be cooked and eaten. Plus I want chicken. Kind of hungry for chicken. Harry likes the beef bowls. Um, I might be getting tired of beef bowls and wanting just the same meats, but in a different direction than what he's doing. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But for now, I want to get my chicken in the pan and get them cooked. They'll shrink so I can put them pretty close together for the first couple minutes and get them uh, cooked and then I can go in and when I turn them and they'll be they'll fit better in the pan but this pan does hold quite a bit oh, that's a big guy there's a big guy so got that cleaned everything off uh, and of course chicken raw chickens the worst so you have to sanitize everything so we did just sprinkling uh, Redmond season salt organic season salt on this just to give it some really good flavor there you go there you have it as you can see there's still some fat on there and it's going to take about 25 minutes 400 degrees and that seems to be right where the sweet spot is to cook chicken thighs we've cooked enough chicken in here that i kind of know it but yeah. i'll still temp it oh my hair is going crazy i those flowers are beautiful aren't they you guys i can't believe how happy Smells i great. am they do and usually florist flowers don't smell but these really do so thank you so much we'll come back you guys when we have chicken thighs on our protein sparing modified fast day Yes, indeedy. Now, how did those that get wet? Oh, man. You guys. Ugh. This is from Harry doing the dog this morning. I'm sure that's oh, because probably, he put yeah. it in water. I wouldn't doubt that at all. Okay, let's weigh this, folks. Ah. Oh. What are you guys having on protein sparing modified days? Are you guys having ground chicken, ground turkey, turkey chicken, shrimp? Tell me what you guys have for your typical protein sparing modified fast day down in the description below. Let me know. Inquiring minds want to know. I'm looking for about 10 ounces. Eight. Hmm might be a little bit more than that. No. There. 10.6 on yours. I'm looking for about 10 for mine. Six. Let's see. Seven, eight, nine, ten maybe. Let's see. Oh, this is going to be yours. So 11.9 for you. Okay. And I'll have this one 10.9 for me. Okay. And then we've got these other little pieces. Actually, I can weigh them. 11, so 15. So 15. Nine plus 15. So there you go. That works out really well. This one has a little bit more. Oh. You choose, Harry. I don't care. Your choice. You know me, I don't care about things like that. Now I want to add that here to see what my macros are going to be. Add 
add it to 15. 15 ounces of boneless skinless chicken breast is 525 calories. 71.3 grams of protein, 26.3 grams of fat, zero carbs. That's perfect for me. If Harry wants something else, he can have some boneless, uh, he can have some uh, 90-10 bison tonight to get his up a couple hundred calories and that'll work perfect. I may not be able to eat all of this in one sitting. I may save it for later. Oops, save the changes, Wendy. There we go. Save the changes. Yes, indeedy. So that's what I'm gonna do. So you guys, for a protein sparing modified fast day today, we are having boneless skinless chicken breast. This is our serving for the day. Yes, it is. So I'm gonna go and eat what I want and then put the rest aside for a second meal later today. So you guys, come on, let's go eat now. I've got some Coops horseradish mustard, which we love Coops, um, and in a little dip bowl. And I'm gonna have a taste of my chicken. And all I put on my chicken was some uh, organic seasoned salt by Redmond. Oh, here comes little Sally girl. Hey, Mom. Mm, hi, honey. Did you hear the word chicken? Yes. Mm, well, guess what? Good news is you get chicken too, but you gotta wait till we eat, okay? Mm. Okay, I guess so. How are you feeling? That is so great to hear. Okay, let's see how we do here. I like dark meat so much better. Yes, it's a little fattier, but that's what makes the flavor. Mmm, that chicken's really tender, Harry. I don't know, but I gotta give it a bite, man. It looks like my bite right here. I'm gonna try without the stuff first. Okay, without the mustard? Uh-huh. Mmm. Isn't it tender? Yeah, it's really good. That's the chicken we get from Bash's on sale. Yeah, I got some of the uh, horseradish. Oh, it's a horseradish. Muskradish mustard. Mm. Oh yeah, I'll be eating all this. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you guys, gotta eat now. Then Sally gets some chicken. Yes, she does. We ate until we were comfortable and we are saving the rest for another meal if we want one. I have six ounces, a little bit more than six ounces of my chicken thighs in here. Harry has 4.8 ounces of chicken thighs in here. And if we get hungry later, we can eat these and still be in a protein sparing modified fast. So that's the good news. And by having mustard, there may be one or two carbs in a big thing of mustard like we had. But basically, this is what we are having today for our protein sparing modified fast. Now, Harry is gonna cook the 90-10 bison because it's been in the refrigerator defrosting now and uh, it's totally defrosted and needs to be cooked but we are going to go ahead and close out today let me know how many days a week you do protein sparing modified fast do you have a refeed day let me know how it's working for you leave that comment down in the description below anyway you guys please remember if you haven't done so already first of all check to make sure you're still subscribed YouTube is unsubscribing people it's crazy and I've seen other uh, youtubers that we watch ask us to do the same check that first make sure you you uh, turn your notifications on to all so you get notified every time we upload a video and you guys please always remember to give us a thumbs up that helps throw us out to the YouTube universe so other folks like you can find us anyway you guys we'll see you guys tomorrow God willing Good night, everyone. I think Sally went to bed. She got her chicken. I don't think you filmed her, did you? Mm -mm. So she's taking mm. her puppy nap now. She's done. Yeah. She, she doesn't feel the need to come and say good night. So sorry, folks. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Uh,